Today we're going to talk about exterior angles. That has to do with our triangles that we've been talking about. Yesterday we talked about how the angles of a triangle always add to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is 180. Today we're going to take one of the sides of our triangle and we're going to extend that side. It wouldn't matter which side we extended, but the angle that's created is called an exterior angle. Notice how it's not the straight angle here. It's the other angle between the triangle and the side that we extended. Now we have four angles on our triangle. So we already know that angles 1, 2, and 3 add to 180 degrees. So I can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 gives me a total of 180. But now look at the angle pair 3 and 4. First of all, what types of angle pair or what type of angle pair is that? They're supplementary. They're also adjacent. That's going to be important too. But the main thing I wanted to say here is that they're supplementary. Which means that the measure of angle 3 added to the measure of angle 4 will also give me a total of 180 degrees. So if 1, 2, and 3 total 180, and 3 and 4 total 180, notice that they're both equal to 180. I can write it like this. Measure of angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is the same measure as 3 and 4 added together. Both sides are equal to 180, so they're equal. So watch what happens then. Remember these all represent numbers in degrees, of course. Watch what happens when I subtract the measure of angle 3 from both sides. These cancel, these cancel, and I'm left with the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4. Take a look at where those angles are. I'm adding 1 and 2 to equal 4. So yeah, you can go tell your mom and dad that 1 plus 2 equals 4 and that your math teacher told you so. Okay, so since these are equal, pay close attention to where they're located. 4 is our exterior angle, right? 3 is its adjacent angle, and 2 and 3, we're going to call that our non-adjacent angle. Oh, I totally just misspelled that. Adjacent angles. 1 and 2 are we're going to call those non-adjacent angles. What happened on the last page when I say it in technical terminology is that any exterior angle of a triangle, so like 4, is equal to the sum, meaning we're adding together, the non-adjacent interior angles of that same triangle. Remember, 4 is an exterior angle. That means 1, 2, and 3 are interior angles. 3 is the angle adjacent to 4. So I'm looking for the non-adjacent angles, which 1 and 2 both qualify for. So measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2, the non-adjacent angles are equal to my exterior angle. 
So if I have to do that on an assignment, here I have an exterior angle of 120 plus its two non-adjacent interior angles. I can say that the sum of my two interior angles will equal the non-adjacent exterior angle. If I subtract 80 from both sides, I get x equals 40. My missing angle is 40 degrees. Again, we always want to set things up as an equation anytime we can. So again, 120 is my exterior angle. My non-adjacent interior angles are 4x and 2x. So I'm going to say the sum of my non-adjacent interior angles is equal to my exterior angle. Combining like terms gives me 6x equals 120. And when I divide both sides by 6, I get x is 20. Now notice x is not an actual angle measure. It's just telling me how to get my angle measure. So I don't need a degree sign when I just solve for x. Sometimes you're going to have to kind of use the long way around to where to get where you're going. Now let me tell you what I mean by that. At some point you're going to be given given more information than you need but not all the information you need at one time. So let me give you an example here. Let's say that I have an exterior angle here of, uh, let's say that that's 120 degrees. I'm going to say that this angle up here is an 80 degree angle. And I want to find my exterior angle of x. I have two exterior angles. I don't have enough information in my picture to help me find x, but I do have information in my picture that will help me get there. For instance, I have two supplementary angles here. If one side is 120 degrees, what does my supplementary angle need to be? Yep, this is a 60 degree angle. Now notice I have 60 degrees and 80 degrees. They are my non-adjacent interior angles that relate to the exterior angle I'm looking for. So now I can say 60 plus 80, the sum of my non-adjacent interior angles is equal to my exterior angle. That means that my angle is going to be 140 degrees. That's my exterior angle over here. Your assignment for this, um, for this topic is your exterior angles worksheet. Make sure to write down any questions so you don't forget to ask me the questions in class. Good luck and have fun.